So good morning guys welcome back so if you are a current student in Canada and you wish to invite your parents on a 10 year visitor visa for Canada this video is for you if you are soon about to graduate from your course in Canada you are eligible to invite your parents as well as your brothers or sisters if you have any and get them approved a visitor visa for up to 10 years now the biggest benefit of a visitor visa is that your parents or family members can directly come to Canada and meet you stay for say four months or six months and then go back to India and then come back again anytime they want firstly let me begin by telling how I invited my parents for a visitor visa in Canada so as most of you already know I took two one-year courses in Canada first was from Seneca College which was a cloud architecture program and the second was cyber security operations from York University so since I was about to graduate from my first course from Seneca I was eligible to invite or sponsor my parents or family members for a visitor visa stating the reason of my graduation ceremony now for those who do not know how a visitor visa process works so for example if you are applying for a visitor visa in any country then 80% of the time it means that you're going there for traveling purposes vacation purposes or either business purposes and for those conditions you get a visitor visa for up to one year or two years however if your child is in Canada then the culture here is very different here people treat graduation ceremony as a very big thing so if you have attended any graduation ceremony till now or seen any YouTube videos you would have gotten an idea that here family members coming to a graduation ceremony of their children is treated as a very big function and it's treated a very pleasant moment for parents to see their children's graduation Graduate. Thus graduation ceremony becomes a very strong reason for parents to come to the country that their child is studying in. Thus in these cases most of the time the duration of the visitor visa is much more than 2 years. Usually it's anywhere about 7 to 10 years. Now another thing to note is that it is fine that your parents do not come to your graduation ceremony but still you can sponsor them for a visitor visa for up to 10 years so that in case they want to come anytime in the future they can obviously come. Now in my case since I am going to be graduating from two courses my parents will most likely come to the graduation ceremony of my second course but still I got them approved for a visitor visa for 10 years stating my graduation ceremony from Seneca College now a smart thing that you can do is that before applying for a visitor visa you can actually extend your parents passports if it's near expiry and once you get the new passport then you can apply for a visitor visa because usually the date till when your passport is valid you get a visitor visa till that date so it's nice to have a upper limit so that you can get a whole 10 years of visitor visa however if your parents passports expiry dates are say six years or seven years ahead then in that case they will get a visitor visa for those years which is six years or seven years till their passport is valid now i will make a detailed video about every single document that you need in this whole process because it is very very vast but in this video i wanted to give you a brief idea about how this process works now usually during this process you are going to come across two important documents first is going to be a graduation letter from your college or university from which you are graduating and this document is provided by your college or university now the second document that you require is going to be a letter of invitation that goes from your end and this letter basically states that you are inviting your parents or family members to come to your graduation and they should also include one paragraph which specifically says that your parents are well set in India or their home country wherever you're watching this video from and also have a point that after they attend your graduation ceremony they have very strong reasons to go back to India or their home country so this is very similar to as what you said at the airport at immigration when you are coming to Canada that after our studies are complete we'll go back to our home country so this is very similar to that if you have any other doubts related to this topic you can definitely comment down in the comment section below and if you have any other queries you can always DM me on my Instagram I'm regularly spending time on replying to each and every one on my Instagram feel free to DM me there and also don't forget to like this video if you found it informative once again thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next one